At Hydro Gear, we take pride in our commercial drive systems. We also value our users and want to assist in the proper use and maintenance of our products. In this video, we're going to walk you through the oil change procedure on a pump and wheel motor drivetrain. The instructions in this video may vary from your machine depending on the manufacturer and components. Always refer to the operator's manual before beginning this process. Start the process by parking the vehicle on a level surface. You'll need to place the direction control levers in the neutral position and set the parking brake. Disengage the deck clutch and remove the ignition switch key. Next, disconnect the negative battery cable. Loosen the reservoir tank cap. Using either a lift or a jack and jack stands, elevate the machine. Make sure to clean any loose debris from around the hydraulic filter. Next, place an oil drain pan beneath the oil filter. Then, remove the oil filter to drain the oil. If your machine is equipped with two hydraulic filters, repeat this step before continuing. Drain the oil reservoir if necessary and ensure the drain plug is reinstalled once drained. After the oil has finished draining from the filter location, wipe off the filter base surface and apply a film of new oil to the gasket of the new replacement filter. You will now install the new filter by hand. After the filter gasket contacts the filter base surface, fasten with three quarters to one full turn. You can now fill the oil reservoir. Consult your operator's manual to verify the appropriate fill level and oil type. Once filled, tighten the reservoir tank cap by hand, making sure not to over tighten. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Now that the oil has been changed, it's important to know that some air will remain in the system after this process. To remove the air, you'll begin a process called purging. We're going to walk you through the purging process. Before starting, make sure the hydraulic oil is at the proper oil level. If not, fill to the proper level with the correct oil type specified in your operator's manual. To purge the system, it's necessary to block the non-powered wheels and hoist the drive wheels up off the ground. Open the bypass valve on each pump by turning counterclockwise one to two turns without removing the valve completely. Start the engine and advance the throttle to normal operating speed. Disengage the brake if it's activated. Then slowly move the directional control to forward, neutral, and reverse directions. Note that when the bypass valve is open, the drive wheels will not turn. Repeat this process about half a dozen times. Next, shut off the engine. Now, close the bypass valves and restart the engine on the machine. Advance the throttle and disengage the brake if needed. Again, move the directional control through a forward and reverse cycle about a half dozen times. With the bypass valve closed, the wheels will be turning, but under a no-load condition. Shut down the engine and check the oil level in the reservoir. Add oil if necessary. Consult your operator's manual for the proper oil type and fill level. Always make sure that you close the bypass valves completely when you finish the purge process. Once you've completed the purge process, test the machine to confirm that the drive system is now performing correctly under normal operating conditions. It may be necessary to repeat the purge process until all of the air is completely purged from the system. The drive system is considered purged when it operates at normal noise levels and moves smoothly in forward and reverse at normal speeds. You've now completed the full drive system maintenance procedure. For more information on HydroGear, our line of products, and service manuals, please visit hydrogear.com.